Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTech Guru. In this video, I'm going to do the charging speed test on the Realme GT Neo 3 device on the day one of usage. And this is my first time doing the charging speed test on this device, friends. And let's find out how quick this phone will be able to charge from 1% to 100%. And another quick note, this phone has got the 80 watts charging capability speed. And this is my first time using the 80 watts charger from the Realme brand. And let's see how quick the phone will be able to charge in this 5000 mAh of battery capacity mobile phone. And right now, I do have the other phones with the same 5000 mAh battery capacity for example realme gt2 and even the realme gt neo2 also they both have 5000 mAh battery i'm gonna test exactly same 80 watts charging in these two devices as well so make sure to stay tuned for those interesting videos also let me do open the charging and cable i'll try to use a default charging and cable that's the reason i'm trying to show you exactly what charger it is and this is a 80 watts brick which i'm trying to show you friends exactly at this moment and is the default cable same cable i'm trying to use i'm not using any cable same cable only every time i'll try to show you the proof also that's the reason this is the same cable right now let's see friends how quick this phone gonna charge using the same default cable from one percentage to hundred percentage that's what i'm going to exactly demonstrate in this video on the realme gt neo 3 and right now it's of only one percentage in the battery which is left in this device let me go to the battery as you can see, one percent of the battery is there. Let's find out how quick the phone will be able to charge complete hundred percentage. Let me do connect the charger and start the stopwatch as well. And cable is completely kind of white color front and back. Everything is white color. There is no yellow or there is no green color. Previously, the uh, Realme phones used to come with nothing like that. And please make sure to follow the playlist of the Realme GT Neo 3 for more information. I already uploaded so many videos on the Realme GT Neo 3. You can clearly see on other playlist videos also try to refer and there you can get a lot of information as well. Please follow the gaming channel as well because in my gaming channel, I'll try to post the battery reading test videos. So go to the gaming channel as well. Let's start the testing. So default charger, which I'm trying to use, which is a 80 watts charger and let me to start the stopwatch. Right now, the stopwatch has been started successfully and in the beginning, the temperature of this phone is about 34.6. And my room temperature is about 34.2 exactly same temperature is maintaining i can be back after 15 minutes again let's check the temperatures and let's check the battery percentage how much the phone can actually charge 15 minutes 30 minutes 50 percent and 100 percentage i can be back after 15 minutes of time right now as you can see friends exactly after 11 minutes of time the phone did charge to 50 percent exactly right now in 11 minutes of time as you can see the char charging speed so 11 minutes 50 percent is the phone did charge let me to write down the readings 11 minutes of time so I'm trying to use a default charger only friends with the which has come in the box only same charger I'm trying to use right now nothing much different charger let's see what happens in the 15 minutes how much the phone can actually get charged in 15 minutes what is the battery percentage we'll try to find out I'm gonna be back after 15 minutes of time and we're going to the temperatures 39.4 39.38.6 39.4 room temperature 34.6 39 degrees Celsius I'm gonna be back after 15 minutes Right now, as you can see, friends, we are getting close to exactly 15 minutes of time continuously charging non-stop this Realme GT Neo 3. And you can see the temperatures did decrease a little bit, kind of 38 degrees Celsius, little bit kind of came down, 38 degrees. And around 15 minutes of time, the phone did charge to 60% of the battery capacity, as you can see, 60%. Around 15 minutes of time, 60%. And I'll try to record the temperatures about 38 degrees Celsius. So let's find out, friends, what will happen overall after uh, 30 minutes of time can this charge within 30 minutes or not we'll try to see exactly so till now the charging speed rate was kind of pretty good not bad overall the charging speed so the first 50 minutes charged really good very fast in 11 minutes only that's pretty fast i would say but later it started to like slow down a little bit that's kind of another thing but anyway let's see again after 30 minutes what will happen with the overall charging speed Right now, as you can see, friends, the time is about close to 29 minutes of time and the phone did charge to 99%. That's very fast, I would say, for 5000 mAh battery capacity. 29 minutes, 99%. I think this phone can actually charge within 30 minutes of time, I guess, if it's going like this, as you can see, with this kind of speed exactly. 99% the phone did charge, so which is really fast. And temperatures were able to maintain pretty low. It's not that high. You got in the temperatures 38 degrees Celsius. 99 percent so using with the 150 watts charger with the 5000 4000 cap capacity another model it takes about 20 minutes and 5000 mAh of battery capacity is taking close to 30 minutes of time so not a huge difference right so but still it was able to maintain pretty consistent speeds that's really good to see this level of consistency regarding the overall speeds what we're getting 100 percent is the phone did charge as you can see friends exactly 100 percentage 
final thing that's really very fast 100% within 30 minutes of time using the super dot charger of 80 watt charger yes it's charging very very fast right now 29 minutes only like this is a, so far the fastest 5000 mAh of battery capacity mobile phone did charge till now and temperature is also maintaining very low it's only 38 degrees celsius at the end of the testing which is also not bad i would say regarding the overall charging speed and charging uh, temperatures everything in this device and let's calculate the charging speed what's happening here for example 5000 mAh of battery capacity divided by time 29 minutes so 172 milliampere per speed this is actual uh, charging speed rate is happening in this device 172 milliampere that's very good speed i can definitely say that so if you compare with other smartphone like 4500 mAh of battery capacity which is charging in 20 minutes which has got 225 milliampere speed which which is another model so which i do have right now which is a xiaomi 11 i hyper charge which has got 120 watts charging same battery capacity and 20 minutes it takes so 225 225 milliampere speed this one is 172 kind of milliampere speed which is really good i would say friends for this kind of 5000 mAh battery capacity so 80 watts charging definitely doing justification in maintaining the stable consistent same level charging speed but the question is that what about the future speeds like after software updates will they decrease any charging speed or not we need to wait and see what's gonna happen in the future so this events thank you for watching and state of phone updates definitely it's really very fast charging i would say uh, which is under 30 minutes of time for 5000 mAh of battery capacity meanwhile signing off until the state of phone updates and